Garlic, green beans, and mushrooms. Let's get started. First, let's talk about eight ounces of uh, sliced mushrooms. You can use portobellas, baby bellas, any type you like. Um, then I can go get some green beans as well. Just cut off the ends and clean them up nicely. Keep them long. Go ahead and uh, put some olive oil in a pan. Add your green beans. We're gonna go ahead and cook these first here. Once you all get them put in that pan, you wanna get them all nicely covered with the oil and just get them all cooked nice and evenly all around. Use tongs if you have to, or you can flip them as well. Uh, about a minute in, go ahead and add some uh, soy sauce to your liking. And when you get that soy sauce in there, you wanna cover all those beans with it. They're gonna give it that nice flavor, but they're also gonna give it a nice little char on the outside. You can already see it start to form a little bit. And then here we go. There's our beans, looking beautiful. They're almost cooked, but they're gonna cook more at the very end. So just take them off and put them aside on a plate. Next, put some more oil in the pan, and we're gonna go ahead and add our mushrooms. Once we've added our mushrooms, go ahead and get them all mixed around. Try to get the oil to cover all those mushrooms in the pan as well, so they cook nice and evenly. And as they go ahead and cook, just uh, flip them around, get them all nicely covered, some more. And then about a minute and a half, two minutes in, go ahead and add some soy sauce. And then just let them cook a little longer, maybe another minute or two. You'll, you'll see, they'll get close to done, they'll kind of look like this. When they're about to this point, to where they're getting close to done, just go ahead and make sure they're covered with the soy sauce and they got that nice, beautiful brown color. And go ahead and re-add your green beans. Once you've re-added your green beans to the pan, we're pretty much almost done here. What you're gonna do is just get everything flipped together. If you can't flip, always use a stir, it doesn't matter. Once you've got everything mixed together, go ahead and add either one clove or two cloves of minced garlic. It's up to you, I'm adding two cloves here. Everything's pretty much done here. We're just gonna get the garlic mixed in and let it cook for another 20, 30 seconds. And this is what it looks like close up. See that garlic, little pieces of garlic all in between. Go ahead and serve it on a plate. It is wonderful and beautiful. I love this dish and you'll love it too. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.